Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about um, complex drumming and attention uh, focus. And I'm going to talk specifically about a client of mine, William, is a 43-year-old uh, who was diagnosed with ADHD as an adult. He um, did a study basically for his own information just um, to see how the drumming was working for him compared to his doses of Ritalin that he was taking before he started uh, doing our program. And uh, he did this with a psychologist, and they basically went through what's called a continuous performance test. It's a test where you're doing a task in response, and it's scoring you based upon your accuracy and your speed, and being able to determine whether um, you're, you're, you're able to focus okay. Um, this particular test is called the Test of Variables Attention. It's a standardized test that's used pretty regularly for diagnosing ADHD or, at the, the very least, tracking someone's therapy protocols to see if they're working. It's really common to use with different levels of medication to determine what the best dose is. And that's where we started with this. He looked at two different doses of medication, uh, 10 milligrams of Ritalin and 20 milligrams of Ritalin. And then he also looked at listening to his custom uh, REI recording, which is complex drumming rhythms. He wanted to see how his attention changed uh, trying these different approaches. So his score from the baseline without any medications or any intervention at all was 12.74, minus 12.74. And that's a pretty low number. Uh, normal score is considered zero. Anything below zero is considered having a difficult time focusing. And 12.74 negative is uh, significant enough that anybody would be saying you need to do something. So he tried his 10 milligram uh, dose, and the, the, the Ritalin was taken 90 minutes before he did the test, which is really pretty ideal. At that point, the Ritalin is kicked in. Uh, you know, Ritalin, by the way, is a, is a very typical stimulant medication for people with ADHD. Um, so you take it 90 minutes later, you do the test that the drugs have, have taken their effect and you're in pretty good place. His uh, 10 milligram score was minus 6.60, which was, you know, half as bad as his baseline. So that was a pretty good score. Uh, he, he had improved a lot in his, in his attention. His 20 milligram score was better. He had a negative 3.47 score. So uh, considerably better than no medication at all and really twice as good as the 6.6 uh, number that he got with 10 milligrams. Well, the interesting thing was when he did the REI listening, his score improved even better. It actually almost got to what was considered normal. He ended up with a negative um, 1.87. And like I said, zero is considered normal. So he went from a negative 12.74 with no intervention, just as a baseline, to a negative 1.87 with just listening to the drumming. And that's a significant change. That is is like almost like I said almost normal considerably better than the minus 6.60 or minus 3.47 that he got with Ritalin. I'm going to play for you a little bit of what this sounds like if you haven't had a chance to hear what I do or what focus might sound like. What I'll be doing here is I'll be playing at about eight beats per second. This is typical REI, our rhythmic containment intervention. Our custom programs all use eight beat per second rhythms played on this drum mainly. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.